everyone welcome back we're gonna play some not so very challenge today okay deep breaths if you guys only knew what i have been through today i'm fine i'm gonna be okay i'm gonna be okay but if you only knew what my day was like today it's okay we're gonna game you look so calm thank you christine that's very nice of you to say <laughs> That's very kind of you. <laughs> oh my god. Earlier, okay, basically, we'll get into this later. But Dan texts me from, you know how he's at a wedding this week? He texts me from the wedding, okay? They're sitting down. The best man is giving a speech. His flight has been canceled. <sighs> so, um,. I, I tried to, I had to spend some time trying to rebook Dan so that he could make it home. <laughs> All while uh, absolutely rushing in extreme amounts of stress trying to finish the video that I've been working on. If you know what I mean. Um, because I have a limited amount of time to finish the redacted video. <laughs> that I'm working on before I lose access to the things that I need to make the redacted video. Anyway, today has just been a lot for me, emotionally. I'm okay, but like, I was really stressed out. So, <laughs> everything's fine, we're all gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. But, um, yeah, welcome back to the, no oh, that's my cat cam, there's no cat. All right, <laughs> everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> You're excited for your horse girl era? I know! Next week is gonna be so fun. I can't wait. This time next week, we're gonna have the horse pack. Or should I say, you're gonna have the horse pack. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the horses come out on your birthday? Oh, that's fun. That's exciting. Happy almost birthday. That's so fun. Is that as pink? Oh yeah, this is, um, this is Barbie's room. Uh, if you missed the last time we streamed this, Barbie had a baby. Uh, its name is James. Uh, and Barbie's twin sister, Peppa, is pregnant. Heavily pregnant. Peppa is gonna give birth any second. So, uh, that's what we're working on right now. With who? Oh, Barbie? No, Barbie had a science baby by herself. So uh, she had James by herself. And uh, Peppa is having a baby with this ghost who I met from the wishing well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like James and the giant peach. Yeah, because he's from the peach generation. James is the, the next gen, the peach generation baby. So... Um, yeah, I can show you the family tree. Let me show you. Hold on. Um, let me just scroll very far back here um, to the first generation of Not So Berry. Poppy, yeah. And then Carson. And then Piper. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this, this would be the family tree. Give it time, because it, it kind of has to reload. The tree is quite big, so the early days are um, not as good. <laughs> hey, Craig, thank you for the gift and subs, and Muffin, and Ava, and La uh, Lady, and Saki, and Expert, uh, Abby, and Rosie, and B and Ray, and Maureen, and DZ, and Avalana. Thank you all so much. Um, yeah. You have a seaweed snack? Nice. Am I going to watch the Barbie movie? Of course. I'm so excited about it. I, like, actually can't wait. I actually can't wait. So, this can be fun. Show pulp, please. Oh, oh yes, hold on. This is urgent. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Every time I see her little face, I just can't believe it. <sighs> anyway, um, but welcome back. You got tickets to an early access Barbie screening party at your local movie theater? That's so cool. That's actually so cool. I'm jealous. Genuinely jealous. 
Next weekend is gonna be the best weekend of my life. Do you wanna know why? I have two very important life events happening to me. Horses and Barbie. So. <laughs> We're thriving. <laughs> we are all thriving. Some theaters near you are showing it early too? No way. I guess I didn't really think to look into that. I wonder if that's happening here. I don't know. You're seeing it on the 20th, you're so excited. Oh, I won't be seeing it on the 20th. You know what I'm doing on the 20th? Horse pack. Horse pack. <laughs> yeah, I guess a lot of st a lot of theaters show stuff on Thursday night, don't they? I used to go to like the midnight showings on the Thursday night of the Hunger Games movies. But I haven't been to a movie theater for like the release of a film in years. I'm not really a movie person. So, anyway. <laughs> and they're not really at midnight anymore. They're gonna be at like 8 p.m. probably. <laughs> but I used to go to the like, I mean, they would do them at like 10 p.m. with Hunger Games when I was younger, so. Those were good times. I miss those days. You can't see Barbie or play horses because you're getting married next Friday. I guess I need to reschedule. Oh my God, cancel the wedding. You've got other plans. What? Listen, what's more important? Your literal marriage or the horse pack? Obviously the horse pack. Come on, there, no question. Obviously the horse pack. Cancel the wedding. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> the horses are more important. <laughs> you know what? That's a big event for you this weekend though. You'll probably have time. You'll be sitting there getting ready and you're like, you know, playing with your little horses on the laptop. <laughs> Iconic. You bring your laptop to the honeymoon and you go and you play with your horses. <laughs> the Sims 4 came out a month before you got married and more than once you told your husband on your honeymoon that you missed playing the Sims. Christine, I understand this so deeply like whenever i go places and i'm and this isn't even like with the sims 4 being new it's just like generally i i'm so obsessed with this game and in my defense my life literally revolves around the sims okay like that's just it's a fact it's fine so when I go places and I'm like not playing The Sims because I'm on vacation for a week, I like feel wrong. It's like, what about, where are my builds? <laughs> what am I supposed to do when I'm not home? <laughs> anyway, I understand. I really do understand. So. Should turn pulp into a horse. Do you know what I was thinking about? And this is maybe like kind of a wacky idea, okay? But listen, 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 listen. What if we take not so berry because we have this sort of like farmhouse vibe almost a little bit right and we have the greenhouse in the back what if when the horse pack comes out we move to the new world and we build like a pink horse ranch and we we have like a pink horse and then we it's like horse so berry i don't know Barbie and a horse? I think so. Barbie's Dream Horse Ranch? Come on. Come on. So I think we might have to do it. My horse can have like a beautiful pink mane. It could be a unicorn or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited about this. I think it's kind of a fun concept. Okay, today though, we've got important, important plans. Specifically, I need to get rid of Elvis and Peppa so that I have space in my house for a horse. There's a baby? Oh yeah, at the end of last stream, Barbie had a science baby. So we do- I can show you the baby in Cass, um, but we have a science baby. No, not get rid of! Not get rid of! Move out! Not in like a- oh my god. <laughs> not in like a bad way. I just mean like move them into their own house. <laughs> I need space. I need space. I understand that get rid of could have more than one meaning around these parts, okay? I'm sorry. I, um, 
Yikes. <laughs> when was this stream? Is the VOD up? Um, yes. The VOD was posted on Friday of last week. So, I just checked my schedule. <laughs> but this is, this is James, the baby. James and the giant peach. He has cheese hair and I didn't even give it to him. He was born that way. So. The what now? The, the VOD means, okay, so like when you have a live stream, right? Um, there's kind of like two kinds of content. There's live content and then there's like video content. People refer to it as being VOD content. It means video on demand. So like when my live streams happen, this part is live, but when I'm done streaming, there's going to be a, a VOD, like a, a video that you can watch on demand, just a video of the live stream. Does that make sense? So when people, when I, at least when I talk about VODs, I'm referring to like the, the past live streams, the videos of my live streams. You get it? <laughs> uh, that's what I'm talking about. So, that's what it stands for. All right. What did you miss? Oh, actually, Hannah, nothing. I've just been talking, so <laughs> no gameplay has occurred yet. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, Peppa, you're going to sleep. Barbie is trying to max, so we need to work on the wellness skill. We already maxed the writing skill, so life is easy and good there. Um... But Barbie's trying to work on that. And the other thing I wanted to do today was try and bring Elvis back to life because he is currently dead. So I need to get myself another angelfish and another death flower so I can bring Elvis back to life. Because basically what happened was Peppa, uh, when she was dead, this sim, Peppa, when she was dead, she wished for a, a person to love from the wishing well and she was given a ghost. Hi, Snappy. Can I help you? So now she has a ghost boyfriend who we're having a child with. Um, I did cheat that because you can't actually have kids with ghosts, but I wanted to. So uh, but now she has a ghost boyfriend who we're having a kid with. That is the um, situation at hand. What is this wishing well? Oh, it's from the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. You can wish for quite a few things. So anyway. Why was Peppa dead? She died when she aged up into a young adult from an emotion thing. You know how uh, Sims, are you, don't scratch that. You know how Sims, when they're teens, they can have mood swings from parenthood? Um, she was feeling, I think maybe she was enraged, I don't remember. She was having a mood swing. And then when she, stop screaming. And then when she aged up into a young adult, she still had the uh, extreme mood and then it caused her to die of the emotion. Maybe she was mortified, I don't remember. One of them though. That's what happened to her. Okay, you can go to bed. Nice. Anyway, I didn't do anything, but I brought her back to life. I made Ambrosia and brought her back to life, so. You're welcome, Peppa. <laughs> You're welcome. Also, Blaze is an elder. That's the other life update. The cat is yelling, stop. Barbie's working on this. Okay, this is fine, everything's fine. Oh, hi, Shella. How are you doing? What have you been up to? Um, and thank you all, by the way, so much for the subs and bits and stuff. I'm really sorry if I missed anything because I was just talking, 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 talking. But I really appreciate it. Okay, Snappy. You're kind of like on my keyboard to the point where I'm not sure if I can play the game. I appreciate it. But currently, you're sort of... Um, I mean, you're gaming, I guess. Can I? Oh, she turned. Okay. I got, I'm good. I got my fingers on the keys again. <laughs> she just wants to play. She just wants to play. Are you going to press the space bar? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh my goodness. I can let her play. She should be allowed to play if she wants to. All right, let's go take a shower and then go to bed. Step one. Step one. You got Taylor Swift tickets for London? Oh, that's so exciting, Margo. I'm so happy for you. That's awesome. Are you so excited? Um, okay. Let's go shower and sleep. Is everybody else asleep? No, you're not. Because Peppa is not sleeping in the right spot on the bed. Peppa, can you scoot? Begging you. There we go. You go to sleep too. What's wrong with you? 
I'll just, the cat's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> you've got an exam that month, but who cares? Well, here's the thing. Even if you've got an exam the same month as your Taylor concert, you deserve to have something fun during your like stressful exam time, you know? That's okay. It's worth it. It'll be well worth it. I'm excited for you. No, even when you're stressed out, it'll it'll be good to be able to play. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's good for you to not be like only focused on that, you know? You need to be able to think about fun things a little bit too. <laughs> um, I think I wanna get, I forgot that I don't have a little thingy for the baby. I wanted to get the um, play mat for the baby. I can just put it in the middle of this room. Or any of these sort of peachy, oh, the Peppa Pig one, obviously is what we should do. Come on. If Snap hears the kitty's meow, does she react? Um, not really. She doesn't really respond to much. <laughs> she, I, she also can't hear it because I have headphones on, but even if it was playing out loud, I don't think she would react to the cats meowing in the game. Like, you know how my cat was just yelling in game? I don't think that she would care. My Snap also doesn't hear that well anymore. Um, she does hear things, but she doesn't hear things that well. So I'm not, it's, it's mostly like higher pitched things that she can hear. So she could probably hear the, I guess she probably could hear it, but I don't know if she would care. I don't know. I don't usually, I, I don't play things out loud on speakers. Usually I sit here with headphones most of the time. So, um, anyway, <laughs> your cat or your dog doesn't like the sound of the werewolves howling. I understand that. I don't think I like the sound of the werewolves howling either. So I get it. I, I understand. All right, let me feed this baby. Step one. How old is Snappy? She's 15, Nordic. She's 15. She's getting old. She's here. Proof of cat again. <laughs> I wish that she would sit on her chair. She was sitting on her chair yesterday for ages. I literally filmed it. I don't know if I can show you, but I, I filmed like a half an hour long video of my cat sleeping on her, on her cat cam chair because I thought this might come in handy. So I, I just was filming her sleeping there. Look, <laughs> cause she was there, I wasn't live. So I was like, I might as well film it. You know, <laughs> she's just gonna sit there. Now I got footage for some reason. <laughs> we could put that on as the cat cam. Wait, look, hang on, how about this? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> could you imagine? Hold on, I'm gonna set it up. I'm actually gonna set it up. I'll let it loop as the cat cam. It's like a fake cat cam. <laughs> Should I do it? <laughs> Let me set it up. You, how would you know? How would you know? If she stands up on my, cause she's on my desk right now. If she stands up, people are gonna be so confused. Wait, um, add video source. Um, what am I doing? No, that's wrong. I did it wrong. Hold on. Add media source. Browse. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, let me put it underneath the overlay. We'll try and put it over here. All right, everyone, here's my cat cam. There you go. The fact that you can see the chair and there's no cat there. Look, <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll just make sure I'm sitting this way so you can't see it. <laughs> don't worry about it, it's fine. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just scoot over. Wait, angle the cat now, I won't angle it, it's okay. <laughs> I should just cover the chair. No, she's, the cat is not sitting on my desk right now. I promise. This tail is not my cat. It's somebody else. What cat? She's right there, clearly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna feed the baby. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Fangle, Delirious, Zoe, and Kate, Quinn, thank you for the subs. 
You see me on YouTube? Oh, hey, welcome to the stream. I'm glad that you could make it by. <laughs> oh, so, so. I'm so glad that you could be here. That's, oh, it's your tail, Shella? Oh. Okay. Well, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> oh, you thought it was Dan's? Oh my god. Dan's not even here. Dan's actually currently as we speak at a wedding. So, good for him. Can I just say, this makes me feel so guilty, okay? But listen, there have been multiple occurrences. What's that? There have been multiple occurrences this week that have made me so glad that I decided I didn't go to this wedding, okay? First of all, horse pack is coming out. So thank God I was like, I don't think I can go. I'm gonna be too stressed after VidCon. Well, yeah, now the horse pack is coming out. So I would have been too stressed. Then today, his flight is supposed to be on Saturday. Canceled. Canceled. Gets a text message at the wedding that says, oh, your flight's been canceled. So today I had to try and rebook him a different flight and then request a refund from, from the airline about the canceled flight. Um, so that was a whole ordeal. But I'm just telling you, if that had happened to me when I was there, like if I was at the wedding, he was literally at the wedding, like at dinner at the wedding when he got that text, I would have been crying at the table. Like I think I would have had a panic attack at the wedding. So Dan is a more calm and, and composed person than I am. If that had happened to me and I was there, it would not have been a good day. Like I was panicking and it wasn't even me. I was panicking sitting here trying to rebook for him. I've never in my life, this is like kind of dramatic. I have never in my life broken out in hives from stress. That happened to me today. My chest, I'm wearing long sleeves on purpose. Bright red, itchy. I was, I've never been so stressed out. I, well, I have, but this was like a different experience for me. That's never happened to me before, but that happens to me today. So I've been through a lot. Oh, you peed your pants, Peppa. So anyway, I'm okay. I'm fine, but <laughs> today's been a lot. <laughs> Isn't it scary what stress can do to a person? I wasn't even like, I'm not even affected by this flight. It's Dan's flight. But anyway, I managed to get him rebooked. So he's gonna be okay gonna be fine it's just like oh. <laughs> all right do you want to come get some food I know it's only 2 a.m. but you're quite hungry Peppa and you peed your pants so yeah I've never gotten stress hives before but now that it happened to me today I'm starting to get like what if it starts happening to me from now on what then oh anyway it's gonna be okay Uh oh I put my drink back down and it woke the cat up. This cat, not that cat. <laughs> the one who's right here. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Could you imagine if she died of embarrassment again? That's actually not funny. Don't even joke about that. <laughs> Could you imagine if Peppa died from embarrassment twice? At least she's pregnant, so she can't. She gives birth any second. So, <laughs> wait, two cats? No, Bria, if you're just tuning in, I don't actually have two cats. There's not actually a cat here. The cat cam that you're watching is a video from yesterday. The cat, in fact, in real life is sitting right here. See? That is a, that, no cat. That, over there? A uh, video from yesterday of this cat. <laughs> I put it on on stream, so if you were here a few minutes ago, you would have seen, but <laughs> it's a, it's a pre-recorded cat cam at this current moment. <gasps> Snap, you're exposing the illusion. Snap. Um, <laughs> what's that? Uh-oh. <laughs> cat scam! Oh no. 
She's breaking the fourth wall. Snappy, oh my god, there's a clone of you! Uh -huh. You're kind of giving it away. What if she goes and sits over there? What then? <laughs> okay. Um, honestly, Peppa, I forgot that you need to go back to sleep, so... Sorry, it's only 4 a.m. It's too early for you, Peppa. <sighs> Barbie, it's 4 a.m., but you could probably wake up. Because we can take care of the child, who is so smelly. Oh, no. All right, let me give James a bubble bath. We'll start there. This is my first time having an infant post 100 baby challenge. So, I think that... Um, Snappy, you're being so cute. I think that this is gonna be interesting for me to try and raise an, an infant in a different way <laughs> than normal, you know? Like, I'm gonna try and take care of this, this child for real <laughs> instead of just trying to age it up as fast as possible. So, this is gonna be a, a different experience, I think. Hmm. We are not speedrunning the infant. Snappy, thank you. You're being so cute. No, I didn't finish it already. I've had like 33 babies or something, Cora. But I've that's 33 babies that I've raised. And not um, had to take care of for real, you know? Oh my. Wait, I just got here and now there are two snaps. What do you mean? There's absolutely nothing to see here. One of these two things is pre-recorded. We'll never know which one. <laughs> hmm. So... <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Barbie, you're waking up. You're gonna- where'd you put the kid? Oh, here you go. Good job, child. Um, do you want to look at your toys? Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> the snap in your camera is fake. It's green screened in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, Pulp is very hungry. What? Go eat then. Where are you? Pulp, are you? Pulp? Are you stuck? Here, I'm gonna cheat Pulp's needs, because there's no need for Pulp to be very hungry. If she's stuck back there, then I have to fix it. I don't think she should be, though. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Okay. And then as soon as Peppa goes into labor, we can move these sims out of the household into their own house. Yeah, I'm not- oh no, Pulp is not stuck by the, behind the couch. She's fine. She got out. We're okay. Reach milestone unlocked! That's good. Oh my god, I'm- oh, Guys, I'm having such a problem. Can I tell you what my problem is? Ever since, like- 15 minutes ago when we decided to have these sims move to a horse ranch when the pack comes out. It's all I can think about. I like want to build a horse ranch. I like want to make a fake one pre-pack coming out. I'm not even kidding. This is so embarrassing. We can't just build fake horse ranches on stream today. You, do you actually want to build a fake horse ranch? Because the thing is, if we built- it's like when we had the last generation, how we built that apartment, and we put, like, fake infant stuff in. <laughs> we build, like, the shell of it. To start off with. Because we can make the shell. We can't really furnish it yet, but we could build the shell and, like, figure out... What we'll furnish it with. This is horrible. It'd be sad without the real horse stuff, but also like, it could be so pink. 
I feel as though you're avoiding infants. <laughs> no. What makes you say that? Whatever do you mean? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh hang on i'll work on how about this let's let's work on the infant a little bit more because we need to be a little bit better set up if we're gonna build we have to be a little bit better set up we can't we, we have to be realistic about this we don't need to, we don't need to do it today. We'll do it when the pack comes out. We'll do it when the pack comes out. I can be brave. I can be brave. I'm fine. I'm fine. Also, do you guys mind if I turn my fan on? Cause some of us are wearing a sweater and really hot in our room. Can you hear it? If I, I just press it, can you hear it? I think the answer is you probably can, but you have to just deal with it. Cause it's really hot in here. So, <laughs> I guess maybe the sound of the baby crying drowns it out so you can't hear it. <laughs> the sound of the baby crying makes it so you can't tell. <laughs> okay, Peppa, what did you do? I wonder when she's gonna give birth cause she'll give birth literally any second, I think. Do you have work today? No, you're off work today. Oh my God, that's huge, okay. I'll probably do some uh, tummy time with the baby then. If we're gonna be home all day. Did we decide what the baby's name is going to be? No, we haven't fully decided, but there was talk about naming the baby George, who is Peppa's little brother in the Peppa Pig cinematic universe. So, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. <laughs> Can you go take care of the baby? Thank you. What if there are two? Like, what if Peppa has twins? That's not funny. I'm actually gonna check now because you're making me nervous. Um, I'm seeing pregnancy. No, it's not twins. It's fine. Oh, that's a relief. There's not space for twins. We have seven Sims, so. Oh my. Name the baby Georgia. <laughs> Wait. Maybe we should steal that and we should use it for Barbie's next kid. And we should call Peppa's kid something else. What a boo. Cause I like that. What should we call Peppa's kid then? Um, Piglet? I can't call it Piglet. Tittles? I can't call a child Tittles. Potato? I mean, well, I guess we had a kid named Tomato. So potato might be a logical progression from that. Bacon, I'm not calling the kid bacon. Come on. It's the same as you can do Piglet. Piglet is actually one of my favorite characters of all time. Like Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. I just think Piglet is so cute. So I guess I could name it after, I could name it Piglet. What do you guys think? I think Piglet's cute. You like potato the best? Hmm. Piglet or potato? Should we do a poll? Peppa's not even in labor yet. Are we gonna call Peppa's baby Piglet or Potato? <laughs> Christine beat me to it. She made that before I even said. We were on the same page, man, you Christine. <laughs> we were on the same page. 
Um, okay. Now the baby is getting kind of tired, so you could go... No, what if we, like, sat down and we tried to... Can you hold the baby while you sit? I'm gonna give the baby a nap. I can sense when a pull is needed and wanted. <laughs> Your spidey senses tell you when a pull is needed. Um, let me... I want to give you a nap. Give James a nap. This is gonna be cute. The lighting is quite bright in here. Okay, it looks like Piglet is winning by a lot. Like 80% says Piglet for Peppa's baby name. So I will probably do that. Did you even give the kid a nap? I don't think you did. What the heck? We're doing it at the table now. Okay. Who's the baby? It's Barbie's baby! His name is James. She had a science baby. So that's who the baby is. Okay, what do you need to do? Level 5 programming skill? Okay. Um... Program... Practice programming. We'll go work on that. Elvis is gonna move out soonish too. Why James? Like, James and the giant peach? <laughs> It's the peach generation, so. I'm gonna miss Peppa when she moves out, but I also, I wanna have Barbie have another kid and I've got too many. Did you get electrocuted? Well, it's a good thing you're already dead. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. Huh. Well. That's interesting. Yeah, I think I want Barbie to have more than one kid, so we probably will have another science baby. I don't know. I don't know how he got electrocuted. I didn't even see what he did, to be honest, so I'm kind of confused by that. So. All right, he's in bed, sleeping off the fact that he got electrocuted. <laughs> Blaze, would you mind helping with the garden quickly? I don't really know if anything needs help, but just in case. Do you wanna come water these things? Oh, I'm in labor. Oh my God. It's time for baby piglet. A baby at hospital. Yay! I am excited. This is fun. Should call him Hamlet because Ham- I can't name my baby after Ham! Oh my gosh! Okay, here we go. Baby Piglet. Piglet! That's actually kind of cute, I think. Oh my gosh. Do you want to come? Ke Honestly, keep it an infant as long as we can. How about that? You stay an infant, cause I, oh, do you know what I need to do? We need to get an angelfish. Did you guys say that you can catch the angelfish pretty easily behind the Caliente's house? Cause that is, I think, what we need. I need to bring Peppa's uh, ghost boyfriend back to life. So we, we don't have enough angelfish. I need to get another one. <laughs> I need to get another one. Should I bring, like, all of the adults in the house to make them all start looking? Who's the ghost again? You forgot? The ghost is Peppa's boyfriend. He, uh, we got a ghost boyfriend by wishing for love on the wishing well. It gave me a ghost boyfriend. I didn't kill him. He was just already dead. So. It's cute, though, because Peppa was also at one point dead and back to life. <laughs> also, kind of vampy, gloomy, folk lover. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Uh, Leah, I'm really in an Emmy and raindrop and daydreaming and summer and occasional. Thank you, everybody. All right, let's go fish. All of us go fishing together. Wait, no, is it over here? Is it like this one directly behind the Caliente's house? I think it's this one. There we go. Get it together. What, Barbie? No, you have to fish. <laughs> Family fishing trip, you know? What is that, chewing? 
You can hear chewing? Is that my cat cam? <gasps> oh no! Don't watch. Maybe it was me eating my snacks yesterday and I didn't mute the audio of this video. <laughs> Wait, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I was like, what chewing? I couldn't hear any chewing. <laughs> Let me mute the I muted myself. Okay, this is, I was, it was me chewing cereal yesterday. This is so embarrassing. Everything about this is a complete and total disaster. I'm, okay, I'm gonna drink some water. It's been a long day. I'm sorry you guys can hear like really weird, suspicious chewing. That's kind of like actually kind of scary. You're probably like, what is that? <laughs> what is going on? That was me eating cereal. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> it was just crunching like in Minecraft. <laughs> you just heard this random chewing. Oh no, it's like there's a ghost in the house chewing or something. <sighs> wow. Well, it wasn't a weird mouth sound, just crunching. <laughs> oh my god, that's so embarrassing. It's okay, that's really funny though. Yeah, this this is not actually a real cat cam that you're watching. It's a video from yesterday. My cat is currently sitting on my desk. It's all a lie, the cat cam that you see. None of it's real. It's, uh, as some might say, a cat scam. So. <laughs> Thought Snap was eating on your desk or something? No, no. Perhaps worse, it was me eating cereal. <laughs> oh, okay, um. Did anybody catch anything good? No, Blaze had to stop. Come try again. I really want an angelfish so you can come back to life. That's a photo, right? What the- this? No, it's a video. She'll move. She's been moving. Oh. It isn't a picture. <laughs> it is, in fact, a video. Oh. So... Oh. No one's catching the fishies that I need. The fish in this area are too complicated for Blaze? No, try again. No, no, come back, try again. The dead sim is just Peppa's ghost boyfriend. It's no it's no one fancy. It's literally just a ghost boyfriend. He's been dead. We we got a boyfriend from the wishing well. So <laughs> Mira, two little legs, and Joelle and Marvelous. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Well. You can catch the angelfish here, right? This is where I caught it before. Are you gonna pee your pants? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Uh-oh. Don't worry about this. Did you just see two cats at once? Yes. Maybe she'll go sit there. We'll find out. Then what? I have to turn the video off and put the live one on. <laughs> Where is, she's on the floor. Yeah, she's right there. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look, okay? We put both? Could you imagine? I want her to sit in her chair. She might. She might. Alright, I don't think we're gonna get this. A lemon? A lemon? No, it's not a picture, Plancy. It is, in fact, a video. Look. Wait. See? Video. But, <laughs> um, she's... <laughs> it's a video from yesterday. <laughs> so. 
<laughs> oh, I think we have to go back home. This is not working out. Not working out. Um, back to the house in Brindleton Bay. Was the baby home alone? Yeah. The baby was in fact home alone. Which is not good. <laughs> not good. Okay. The angel is in a few places, Luna. We managed to get one pretty easily there last time we streamed, so I was hoping that it would go well, but it didn't. So, infants can be home alone. Well, if you just leave the lot, it doesn't hire a nanny or anything. It only hires a nanny. Oh, she's leaving the room. Okay, well, our cat cam dreams have been shattered. Um, if, you, if you're if you staying on the lot with a baby home alone, it makes you take care of them. Um, if you, why are you on the floor? If you just leave and leave the baby there by itself, there's no problem. So, <laughs> Clara, Joy, Gavin, Egg, thank you for the subs. Thank you so much. Okay, come on. We'll try and take care of this baby. An angelfish guide in mods if you need it. Yeah, I mean, I've caught the angelfish there before. I might go back to the Willow Creek spot and try and catch it again in Willow Creek. Because, um, this guide doesn't have any of the Willow Creek spots that I was thinking of. But you can catch it in the spot that I usually go to. Um, you can catch angelfish in the park in Oasis Springs? I've never done that. That's interesting. Oh, look at us doing our tummy time! Uh-oh, broken. Don't rename. Replace. And empty the trash. Okay. Yeah, the Oasis Springs Park is a pretty good fishing spot, to be honest. I, I usually have good luck fishing there. But I don't normally try and catch angelfish there. Well, Blaze, I'm sorry. You have to come fish with me. Oh my god, do you know what I could do? This is way easier. Please hold. How about this? I have caught an angelfish before. So, what we do is we make ourselves a pond. Okay. I put the fishing allowed sign in the pond. I stock the pond with an angel fish. And then I go fishing. <laughs> That's way easier. I'm still not used to like having the, uh oh, is the baby cold? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna freeze the child. Wait, hold on. I guess we could take it back inside. It's getting a little bit tired. <laughs> my bad. Get put to bed by Barbie, how about that? Is this a little bit sneaky of me to do? Yes. But it is in fact a feature. So, Therefore, it's not cheating. It's in the game. It's fine. <laughs> Tuna, Rebecca, Cake, Egg, Clara, thank you for the subs. So you should be able to get one. And then I have enough death flowers, right? I think I have some in my inventory. Let me check. Are we all saying sup because my dad is here? Ooh, 12, 10, 3, Six, three, yeah, I do have one. Well, that's gonna be very easy to make this ambrosia. Okay. Oh, Elvis got parenting level one! Good for you! No, no, go to sleep, it's okay. Shh, sleep, sleep. Oh, there we go. I think he's falling asleep, we should be okay. 
Um, I guess... Are you even actually taking care of what the baby needs? Probably not. Can't be trusted. How long do you think it's gonna take him to catch the angelfish in here? If it's the only fish stocked in there? I guess we shall see. If he has to stay up all night, then so be it. Why is he sad? I don't remember. Uh, a lot of people that he knows are dying though, because they're all getting kind of old, so. Depends on their skill level. He's level four. The fish in this area are too complicated for Blaze. Do you want to fish with a bait? He's an apple. Okay, baby taken care of. Is the pond deep enough? Does it need to be deeper? It's letting him fish. I don't really see why it wouldn't. The pond is not deep enough? Dep no, pond depth does not matter. That's what I thought. I don't think that you need it. He caught an angelfish before. Yeah, there we go. He caught one just now. I was gonna say, he's caught one before. That's why I was able to stock it, so. Problem solved. He got it. <laughs> well, I shall make that ambrosia tomorrow. That was really weird timing. I'm sitting here talking about it, and then he catches it. Um, you can go to bed. You are not tired at all. Do you guys have another Barbie book that you wanna write? Oh, I'm, I'm writing Barbie Horse Ranch right now! This is not helping my desperate desire to go build a new Barbie farm. I won't lie. I really badly wanna go start working on my Barbie Horse Ranch. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Baby's crying again? Oh my god. Peppa. Kiss Piglet's forehead. Then, oh, give it a new outfit. Change dirty diaper. Then you can go back to sleep. It's only 10.30 and you're not tired at all, so. We should go back. My cat is scratching this thing, stop! Stop. How long should I work on this? Eh, let's go to bed now. It's getting kind of late. Have you considered a Simsy horse emoji? <laughs> no, I hadn't considered getting a horse emoji. That would be interesting though. That would be interesting though. Um, what are those spots on Peppa's face? She just has some acne. <laughs> She just has some acne, that's all. <laughs> oh my goodness, no need to call her out like that. <laughs> oh, you didn't do anything wrong, it's okay. It's a fair question. Concept, a cat riding a horse. Do you know what? I'm so curious about what the cross pack compatibility is gonna be like for the horse pack. I'm so interested in what it's gonna be like. Um, cause when we get early access to the pack, like with the CFE special access where there's like no gallery and the weird watermark, uh, we only have horse ranch and the new pack. Nope. Horse ranch is the new pack. We only have horse ranch and the base game is what I meant to say. I was going to say base game and the new pack and then I just combined my sentences, but we, we don't have like cats and dogs to test out how the horses interact with dog. Like we don't have a way to, um, test that in the early access time. So. Are you broken? Oh, he was going. I just got a little ahead of myself. To bed. Oh my god, I hate having this many kids! Ugh, we have to make it through the night. You just stop crying. So I need to make it through the night. It's really important. Oh god. Try to go night night. Oh no. Oh no. You're so excited for horses, you can't wait. I know, I'm looking forward to it. The Sims is doing a live stream playing with Horse Ranch tomorrow. So that'll be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Okay. Um, 
Are you <sighs> stop crying? Will I be live for it? Like for the Sims live stream? No. Um I am extremely busy tomorrow. So I cannot take time out of my busy day to do things during the day, if you understand what I mean. But I also don't usually uh, live stream The Sims live streams. That was one time for like that specialty live stream that they did when they announced Project Renee. And that was only because they hyped it up so much and they were telling people like, hey, you might want to live react to this. So that was like a special occasion thing. I don't usually live watch the gameplay live streams. They've been doing those for years. I've never watched that on stream, so. You're going to be on the stream, Simsy? No, no. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just actually busy recording tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not on the stream. I'm not involved in the horse pack. I'm I'm just busy. I'm not let's not twist things. I'm not on the stream. I'm I'm just busy recording tomorrow. Okay? I'm not gonna be anywhere. Um, I'm not trying to like tell you something between the lines. I'm not gonna be a part of the stream. I never live react to their these streams like this. At literally one time I live reacted to a stream they did. One time. Um, I'm gonna be recording tomorrow. That's why I'm busy. Um, okay, you're back asleep. That's good at least. Okay. Um, can you help me, Harmony? <laughs> can you help me? Oh no, nobody can wake up and help here. You can. You can. Let's take care of the baby. Change dirty diaper. Bottle feed. Okay. Why is the fun of the infant gray? So if you have growing together, the fun for infants is grayed out until they have the ability to gain fun themselves. Because my infant can't move on his own, he doesn't have like uh, the ability to crawl or anything. He can't do anything. So the fun need is grayed out until he is able to unlock that stuff. And then once he can crawl around, he has a fun need because he can actually play with toys and stuff. But right now he can't, so. Uh, no fun need for him. That's how it works. Um, let's get a bubble bath, shall we? Hopefully Blaze can come give you the bubble bath. Are you going to work? No, work from home. I'm trying to bring him back to life today. He doesn't know what fun is yet. He literally hasn't learned about fun. <laughs> so that's why. Yeah, I'll be live at the regular stream time tomorrow, Carly. Like at this time tomorrow, I'll be live. Yeah. Um, no, wrong Sim. I need you to feed the baby after this. Baby care feed, bottle feed. Okay. Let's feed the baby. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, I was wondering why I couldn't hear that well. I had my headphones half pulled out of my mixer. I was like, it sounds really weird. I tried to turn it up. They were not all the way plugged in. <laughs> so that explains a lot. <laughs> well, if only I had noticed that sooner. Okay, um, let's go put the baby down. What bath mat is that? Uh, I think that's from high school years. Yeah, it's from high school years. Okay. No, the kids aren't both Barbies. This the this infant is Barbies. The newborn is actually Peppa's baby. Um, this newborn is called Piglet, and uh, the infant is called James. So. Okay. Let me sell this too. After the baby's on the mat, I can go try and do some tummy time with him. Let's go help him. Try and see if he can learn how to crawl and stuff. All right. Would you like to cook a gourmet meal? Oh, I need another potion of youth. Sorry, silly me. Hold on. Potion of youth. All right, let's craft another ambrosia. <laughs> cook a gourmet meal. Ambrosia. I can bring Peppa's boyfriend back to life. This is gonna be so fun. Aren't you so excited? The amount of ambrosia we've made in these last couple of streams is amazing. Uh, Blair, he didn't, he, he, here's the thing. He didn't die. He, um, so he's dead, obviously, cause he's a ghost. But what happened was I only know him because Peppa wished for love on this thing. 
and the game gave me a ghost boyfriend. So I don't really know what happened to him. He doesn't have like a died by this sort of trait. He was originally an elder, so it's possible that he just died of old age, but he doesn't have a cause of death trait. No, he does. Wait, he literally does. I swear to you, he didn't before, because we talked about this last time. It literally says it right there. We had a whole discussion about this last time we played, and we were like, we can't figure it out. It doesn't say. And it's right there. I swear to you, he didn't have that last time we played. Okay, well, he died from laughter. We had a whole discussion about how we didn't know, but we think old age. Because it didn't say. But now it does say. So, I don't know. I don't know. He died of laughter. There you go. But it didn't say it before. <laughs> we literally talked about this, how it wasn't there. That's so weird. That's so, so, so weird. Okay. Interesting. Short game. Oh, it's time! All right, come eat your baked Alaska. I mean, your ambrosia, not baked Alaska. That's the other option. Let's come eat the ambrosia. This is exciting. It did this the last time one of my sims had a ghost girlfriend. She didn't have a death trait, and then magically she died by laughter again. Really? That's so weird. I wonder what it is. Huh. Okay, well... Seems like it's happened before in previous generations, too. Remember that happened when you're watching back VODs? That's so interesting. I feel like I've had this experience before, so that checks out. And if you've seen it recently, then there you go. Oh my god, eat faster. Eat faster. Don't talk to Pulp. Eat faster. You're trying to come back to life. Come on. Eat the ambrosia. Eat the ambrosia. Come on. He looks like a dude you know. You know a ghost? Cool. <laughs> Look, he's back! Yay! He lives. That's so exciting. Okay, I'll sell that. Well, now I can probably age their infant up, or age their baby up into an infant, and then move them out. Baby care, no, baby care, age up. That's so fun. Got lucky with the shoes. Yeah, we were talking about this before because we gave him a little bit of a makeover. I guess this is a styled look, um, but I gave him a makeover. But when he was a ghost, I couldn't see his feet. So I didn't know what shoes he was wearing for his outfits because I didn't bother checking and I couldn't see his feet as a ghost. <laughs> Yay, Piglet aged up. Okay, uh, that would be all the more reasons to move these babies out of my house. Specifically this baby, I guess I should say. Let me go look at her and cast, though. Yeah, I definitely don't want to have um, an intense child. <laughs> I'm not really interested in caring for an intense baby, actually. <laughs> I like her rainbow hat, though. That's really cute. I think she can keep that. Aww, what kind of hair do you have? Aww, that works. Um, is there anything else kind of rainbowy that might... Honestly, this, like, kind of matches the hat perfectly. I'm serious. <gasps> the sunflowers! That's cute. Is there anything else kind of rainbowy? Mm -hmm. This one has a rainbow on it. Maybe you could be a duck. I love this. There we go. She's cute. Okay. Aw. Wait, is there a pink option on this? There, piglet. <laughs> it's a pig costume. Sure. <laughs> sure. 
Yeah, the next generation is Peach, but she's not technically, like, part of the heir's household, so I don't need to forcibly dress her in only Peach clothes. Your two-year captionversary is this Monday, Hope? It's been two years? You know what? Time flies, doesn't it? That's wild. Hope has been doing closed captions on every single one of my YouTube videos for the last two years. And that means also that two years worth of videos have Kello's captions on them. So that's pretty cool. Thanks to Hope. That's wild. That's wild. Yeah, no skips. Every single video. That's a lot of videos. <laughs> All right, let me go, um, let me go move them out. Where should they live? I don't know. Um, perhaps we could live it might be cute if I downloaded them a house and put it, like, across the street or something. Like, what if they lived right near us? Do I have anything pink? Um. No. I don't know. Pink cottage tiny house. I shouldn't move them into a tiny house. That's terrible. I do like this house though. They can live in the werewolf world. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to these Sims. Yeah, I always feel bad when I like evict someone. Oh my God, I just, hold on. Size 20 by 15. Um, pink, 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 pink. It is 20 by 15, right? Hold on, lot type, tiny home. I, I swear, oh, it's right there. Okay, try again. Try again. When you were a kid, you learned the word evict from the Sims. So that's what it, this is what it meant. Oh my goodness. I think that happens to a lot of people with a lot of things. There's a lot of foods that I learned about from the Sims first that I had never eaten in real life. when I Because I was playing the Sims when I was like eight, you know? Um, so I learned about a lot of foods first in the Sims. Um, and I, like, sometimes I didn't know that they were real. Like, I thought that, like... Um, cause you know the goopy carbonara that they have? I had never heard of carbonara before, I had never had it before. And because it's called goopy, I was like, that's a fake food in The Sims. I fully thought that that was a fake. And lobster thermidor! <laughs> yeah, it sounds fake. So, but I thought goopy carbonara was like a fake made up thing in The Sims. I didn't know that carbonara was a real food when I was young. <laughs> Baked Alaska? Yeah! See? <laughs> it's funny how that happens though. Um, okay, she can live in this house. Maybe I could put, um, I don't have to give them a room for their baby, right? Right? And that's part of why, um, I always say this whenever they do, do those food updates in The Sims 4, but like my experience as a child with like, for example, thinking Goopy Carbonara was fake, I think it's quite cool how in The Sims 4 when they do those food updates, they've been doing a lot of updates adding in like different cultural foods in The Sims 4, and they always have a quite long and I think really informative description on the foods. Um, which is really cool because I like I if I was a kid and I was seeing that like that's such a fun way to learn about stuff Like it's just nice. It's nice that they're showing you. I, I'm so glad they have the description I feel like that's really really awesome And it's usually like genuinely very interesting if you've never heard it before to get to learn about it and stuff It's just a nice. It's a really nice touch that they do um, um, It's such a win for Everything for everyone, you know um, So I'm glad that they do that 
All right, I'm gonna move them out now and into this house. Welcome back to life. Time to go. You learned what pancakes were from The Sims and you thought it was the fanciest thing? That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, all right, Peppa, you baby. Nice. Yeah, that's the thing. The food updates do seem like a small thing, but they're such they're so important for players to have like their own foods in the game, for people to learn about. It's just it's such a um, I don't know. It's such a nice positive thing. I'm really glad that they do it. So I hope they keep doing more of it. Um. All right. Here you go. Giving them zero cash is awesome. Okay, maybe I should give them some money. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me give him a little bit of money, too. That's my bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> one sec. All right. Yeah, you can never have too many foods. It's such a huge thing to have more food options like that, so it's pretty good. And they've also really stepped up their game with like how the foods look, which is good because frankly, it would be offensive if they made like new foods and they looked as bad as some of the base game foods do. But I think them doing this, it's it's caused them to put a lot more thought um, and and like energy and effort and, and detail into the foods that they're making. And so the textures are so much better now. Like it's just a really, nice thing because <laughs> you compare like the the recent food updates to a lot of the base game stuff that we got like the base game stuff actually looks nasty like do you know the um the franks and beans it's from outdoor retreat but it's still early early game the franks and beans option the texture of it actually looks nasty like legitimately the texture of the franks and beans looks gross and it's not necessarily the food is gross it's just like the texture is so poor that like, <laughs> it, it's gross, <laughs> you know? Um, and that's, even when it's like a excellent quality, it looks gross, so it's just not good. Um, it's good that they've been improving. In general, most of their textures are improving in The Sims 4. Like a lot of the hairs that they The Sims 4 first got are quite bad compared to the new ones, so. Just more recently, stuff's been improving, so. A tier video on the food in The Sims 4? Oh my god, there's a lot. There's way more than you realize. Yeah, Brina, the Jewish food update was so important. It was such a long time coming. People have been asking for that for so long. So it was such a great thing they finally did it. It'd be nice to have more, but I'm glad they I'm glad they did it. So um, Anna, Philip, and Catherine, Libby, thank you for the subs. Alright. Load back. I have finally kicked them out. We can also clear out Peppa's old room, so that way we can have another kid soon. Okay. Um, upstairs. No, I'll leave Peppa's room here for a- My cow plant grew! Sorry. I'll leave Peppa's room here for a little bit. <laughs> I'll clear it out once we actually do have another kid. I love the Peppa room, so. All right, where's the baby? Do you want to take care of the baby? No, don't ask to lie down. Can you, like- do some more tummy time. Maybe you could practice sitting with him. Practice sitting. Cow plant name idea, Boris. I'm sorry. To me, the name Boris is sort of permanently ruined. I can't, I can't use it, um, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> Boris is, uh, one of those names that is a little bit permanently scarred. <laughs> kind of like Donald. You can't... You just can't. You know? <sighs> yeah. Anyway. Don't forget Ron. Oh, I promise I didn't forget Ron. <laughs> Uh, Ron DeSantis has also scarred that name. It was kind of, I mean, I would never name, I, listen, I couldn't name a Sim Ron pre-Ron DeSantis either, because my dead grandpa's name is Ron. So that name is bad for two reasons. 
Ronald is like double bad for me. I can't, I cannot call a sim for my dead grandpa. And then now Ron DeSantis, it's like, it's over, you know? You're never gonna use that name. <laughs> I can never use that name for a sim. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> okay. Um, do you know what? I, can, I think I can tell you this. No, maybe this is a hypothetical. Hypothetically, if I were to hypothetically get a horse in The Sims 4, hypothetically, and it were to hypothetically be randomly given the name Pi, I would use it because I had a cat growing up named Pi. And it was really cute, hypothetically speaking, I mean, if I were to have a horse that would randomize the name Pi, that would be cute, right? Anyway, shout out Pi. <laughs> That's my bestie. Hey, Sunflower, thanks for the raid. All right, let me take care of my garden quickly. Uh-oh, what's wrong with the kid? <laughs> Baby whisked away. Oh my god! <gasps> ah! No, surely not. It's a lie! It's a lie! Kelly's not dead! <gasps> oh my god, this is the problem. This is why we can't have... <sighs> This is why we can't use rodents in this game. Because it tells me my rat is dead. I'm like, oh my god, Kelly starved? No, she didn't. When? Are you sure? She's right there. Oh my god, Kelly did not starve. I'm cheating that away. Are you guys sad about it too? No, that is so unbelievably annoying. This is why I don't use the rats. We haven't had that happen for a while, but it's, now it's gonna happen like five times. That's been happening for years. But look, Kelly didn't starve. I can't even fill her food because it's already full. Should I delete the rat? Maybe I'll put her in my inventory. That's just annoying. I can't do anything about that. It was fun to have a rat while it lasted. Do I need the rat for postcards? No, because the rat postcards, I think I already have all of them. Let me check. I just got this postcard. But I think that... um. Let me see, in the collections tab. I mean, I have all the rat postcards, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I have all the, I don't think that the rats will bring me postcards that aren't these ones, right? They're just bonus anyway, but I don't think that they bring me any of the regular ones. I think they just bring me. Okay, we should be fine then. We should be fine. Missy, Coco, uh, Akira, and JM, thank you for the subs, everybody. Paris, Fall, and Bree, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, that's devastating. Okay. What are you going to do today? Maybe you could go work on some yoga, because you need to try and get your skill maxed. You're mad because you're tired. It's a good thing we've got Grandpa here to help us, to be honest. I don't know if I could manage without him. Um, soothe the kid to sleep. Are you actually that tired? Oh my god. Oh my god. Barbie's first horse was named Dancer? I don't like that. They should have picked a better one for Barbie, in my humble opinion. Okay. Was this glitch too? God. I moved the other sims out because we had too many of them. That's why. We were having too many sims, so I had to move them out. <laughs> I want to make sure that we have space so we can have more kids. I realized I forgot that I wanted I want to have two more kids because I want one named Princess and one named Georgia. Princess Peach and Georgia Peach for the Peach Gen. So 
Snappy left us. Oh, the video ended. <laughs> okay, well, I played and I think I actually repeated that video about three times. So, um, uh, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> We, we've watched the- it's like 40 minutes long, actually, so. There- in fact, I'm about to re reveal a big secret. There was, in fact, never a cat there. It was a video. It was a video from yesterday. There was never a cat there. It was all a lie. <laughs> in fact, most of the time she was sitting on my desk. <laughs> it was a cat scam. <laughs> <laughs> if you were here earlier, I did put the video on on stream. So a lot of them knew. But if you tuned in later, you didn't see me put it on, then it would have been a real lie and very confusing. It was in fact a video. I wasn't trying to scam you. It was just cute. So I thought I might as well use it. <laughs> Hope, I hate you. I'm so jealous of her. You have no idea. I haven't been able to watch Love Island all week. Since stupid Dan left, stupid Dan had to go to stupid Italy to go to a stupid wedding. Sorry, Adam and Abby. And sorry, the country of Italy. But stupid Dan went to Italy for a wedding, and so I can't watch Love Island without him. I'm not allowed to watch it without him. I haven't watched since Sunday. <sighs> anyway, I'm sorry, Italy. I didn't mean it. I was just taking it out on you. I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway. Angel Alaska at dusk and Missy, thank you for the subs, by the way. Watch and then pretend to be surprised. No, I can't watch the episodes twice. Freezing to death. Whoa, chill. Go inside. Wait, chill. Sorry, that was funny. She is. She is chill. <laughs> you have offended the Olive Garden ancestors. Oh no. I'm sorry to the founders of Olive Garden for insulting your country. That was not right of me to do. Yeah, in fact, don't chill. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna have you finish writing. I guess while the baby's asleep, we can keep writing Barbie Horse Ranch. Go, 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 go. Come on, keep it up. <laughs> I will ban everyone. Dika's really upset. As as our resident Italian, he's um, he gets really mad when I say things like that about Olive Garden. So I'm sorry for for that. Yeah, Olive Garden is like fancy Italian food. Yeah, sweet. It's like um, I would say that Olive Garden is probably the fanciest chain restaurant that we have in the U.S. It's like really authentic high quality Italian food. Um, it is a chain, but it's it's still quite authentic. It's it's very high end. Um, <laughs> Am I trolling? No, I'm so serious right now. I'm so serious. I'm sp I'm specifically bullying little Dika though. <laughs> He's gonna explode hearing me say this. <laughs> You're not from the UK? Me? No. My husband is though. So that, that might be why you associate me. But he is, and so are like half of my friends. So if you're confusing with a different one of the Sims girls, it's okay, I understand. All my friends are British, so I get it. But I'm not. I am in fact, unfortunately, from Florida. <laughs> There's literally no need to go to Italy to have Italian food when you have Olive Garden. Yeah, I went to Italy once. And honestly, Olive Garden was better. <laughs> He's gonna leave. Dika's gonna like unmod and leave. <laughs> Hey, Toasty Angel, thank you for the subs. That's it, I'm unfriending you, he says. <laughs> Fellow Floridian and UCF grad, I feel you. Oh, Bestie, I'm sorry. Me and you both. We didn't deserve this. 
we didn't deserve this. Okay. Okay. We're almost done writing Barbie Horse Ranch. Hurry up. Are you done yet? Are you done? Yay! Okay. Is Blaze going to work? Oh no. Not thought through, not thought through. Uh-oh. Get leftovers. Uh-oh. Um, submit book copy to Literary Digest. Yeah, put Barbie Horse Ranch to the Literary Digest. Hopefully they like it. And then I'll probably try and talk to Pulp. Why is Blaze sad? Blaze has a bunch of uh, extended family who keep dying that he's upset about, so. I get it, I understand. I don't know who died though, specifically. Okay. Well, is there anything else I need to do? Oh, sorry, uh-oh, yawning, my bad. You're obsessed that I can see you from Speak Now. It's a good song, isn't it? That's, I think, one of my favorite of the vault tracks on Speak Now. I really like it. Um, but that's exciting. I'm glad that you like it. I Can See You is a good song. There's something about that song. I was trying to explain this to Dan, but my favorite song off Midnight's is Lavender Haze, and they're not exactly similar, but they both, like, scratch the same part of my brain. I like them. I really like them. Like, I think that those two are some of my favorite Taylor Swift songs ever. I, well, that's an exaggeration, but I like them. Lavender Haze and I Can See You are both good. For slightly similar reasons, I think. <laughs> um, sort of similar energy, maybe? I don't know. Okay, you didn't shower and you have work, so that's my bad, sorry. <laughs> oopsies, oopsies. Um, maybe we could wake the baby up and then feed him. Um, let's go do that now. You're cleaning? Okay. Come on. Okay, let's go. Can you clone pulp and have like 10 pulps? Um, I suppose, I mean, technically, you could, but should you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we did have puppies. We had pulpies twice, but I'm not really interested in having more puppies because I need to make sure I have space for a horse. It's really important that I have space to have a horse and multiple children, so. Let's be realistic for a second. If we're gonna have a pink Barbie horse and two babies, well, I've got five Sims. So, five, two more babies, I mean, is the problem. Do you need a diaper change? Okay, I'll do that next. Wait, I'll use this. Change James's diaper. Okay. Baby being taken care of. I have work tomorrow, I fear. Which is not good. But that's okay. Clone pulp and give it to Peppa? Well, the problem is, I don't think I want to have a version of pulp in the world that's not my pulp. You know? Blaze could move out? No, I need him. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I am a single mother of an infant, okay? I cannot have Blaze move out. I need his help to take care of this child. It's extremely important that I have Blaze here to help me. I really, really need him. <laughs> Grandpa's gotta stay. <laughs> no, we need his help. Like, we can't get rid of him. Okay. <gasps> what are you learning? Oh my god, it sat up! Yes! Life is good. So people were asking earlier, 
um, how come the baby doesn't have a fun need? And that's because he didn't he didn't have the ability to sit up. So now that he can sit up, uh, he can like scoot around a little bit, and he'll be able to get his like play with toys and stuff. Um, so that's why they don't have a fun need until that point. Well, now he can do tummy time on his own, so that's good. What a relief. When should I get my next baby? How long until you age up? Three days. Maybe tomorrow I'll have my next baby. Cause it's a, it's a um, science baby, so it'll be pretty instant. So maybe I'll do it tomorrow to slightly space them out a little. Yeah. Clean out spoiled food, get leftovers. What's your problem? Do you want to play with some toys yourself? There you go! Look at you! Ah! Sorry. Exciting. Your favorite thing is when Kayla calls babies it. Honest, I didn't even do that on purpose just then. Like, really and truly did not do that on purpose. It just happened. <laughs> so. Okay, eat some food. Kid is playing. Where did the ghost go? Oh, we moved him out. We brought him back to life and then moved him out. Um, what did science babies come with? Oh, they added the science babies back rackle in the infant update when it came out before growing together. So it was back in like March, we got the science babies. Um, it's so that your Sims can have, uh, I mean, it's it serves a lot of good purposes for storytelling and also for, um, so for example, in this household, my Sim is Arrow Ace. I don't think she's ever gonna date anyone. Um, so she's not gonna have like, kids with someone um uh, but i wanted her to have bio kids because i'm like doing a legacy challenge and stuff so this way um i'm able to have a baby but with just me or you can have like a platonic baby with someone else if you wanted to um which is good for different storytelling purposes you can also use it to like tell an ivf story um there's lots of reasons that people could use the science babies which is pretty cool so it works out quite well uh, but you could do it like with your best friend if you wanted to. Um, I just chose to do it alone, so. Um, but yeah, it's a fun update. You feel suddenly so much less stressed. Oh, Shella, yeah. <laughs> um, I am. I am also feeling well. No, I've had a rough day. Never mind. I take it back. Is Barbie Arrow Ace and Cast? Oh, do you know what? I don't think I ever changed the settings, Eli. We can go do that. Um, I'm still not used to the update. I don't usually bother with, like, changing it. I kind of just, like, play it, <laughs> you know? Uh, but I don't think you're right. I don't think I changed it in cast. So we can go do that. Let's go. Maybe we can give her some more outfits while we're here, too. Super okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ah, hold on. I need to go into full edit mode. Alas. <laughs> oh well. We try again. I knew I needed to do that. I just kind of got ahead of myself and didn't, you know? Also save maybe? You know what? You're right. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I wish you could change that without full edit mode. I feel like that's kind of an oversight. Like that should be something that you can change without full edit mode, you know? Yeah, I don't think that that should be... I've always thought that, but now especially it's annoying me, so... <laughs> anyway, a lot of... Because that's the thing, right? A lot of people don't know about full edit mode. Like, that's like a... You might not realize it's an option and stuff, so... Oh, well. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's try that again. And then we can give her some more outfits. Barbie! Not exploring, not interested in woohoo. Cool. Okay, that's fixed. Are there any more outfits that we want to wear? We have a couple already. Maybe I could try and give her colors pink. Anything sort of 
screaming Barbie to you? Maybe a, another dress. Can you do it if you choose change sim? I don't know. I don't usually do that. I always shift click to go into cast. So I'm not actually all that familiar with what the change sim options do. Um, not screaming Barbie, not screaming Barbie. Not screaming Barbie. Not screaming Barbie. I want like a more hot pink, you know? Ooh. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. See, this is very hot pink, but doesn't match her hair that well. <gasps> Barbie as a doctor. Barbie as a cheerleader. <laughs> Do you know what? Barbie. I forgot about this swatch. I like that. That's cute, isn't it? No, that's perfect. Can that be your like outfit number one, please? <laughs> Just to switch it up for a little. Because I like that. Maybe we'll do some pink heels as well. I was, had her, I always thought that I might, like, give her some more heels and makeup when she got a little bit older. Because um, I was dressing her as a teen last. But now she's a little bit older, I feel like we can go back in and update some of our things. Maybe these are good. Um... Are any of these things pink? Not good enough. Ooh. Not good enough. Not good enough. Oh, that's kind of Barbie. Can I wear a necklace? Oh, I don't like how it goes underneath the outfit. So I don't want a necklace. Ah. Mind has changed, sorry. Mm -hmm. We probably don't need our prom dresses anymore. <laughs> Maybe I'll pick a new dress as well. Um, honestly, kind of Barbie. But I think I want a dress. These are not speaking to me. No. No. Do you know what? Glitter dress? Kind of Barbie. This'll work. That'll work. <gasps> oh my god, that's so fun. Should we try and do it with a skirt now? Just for fun? Pink, 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 pink. It needs to be more high-waisted than that. Um, see, that's like not... <gasps> do you know what? I kind of love it. We'll get some pink heels with it. Of course they're the wrong color of heel. That'll work. Hmm. Replicate Margot Robbie's premiere looks. Oh my god, could you imagine? I'm okay with those. Is there like a little sundress? Or like... I don't know. These are not the right shade of pink. That's my problem. I wish this was like more pink. Does she have abs? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, she does. She's been doing a lot of yoga. She has to max the yoga skill for um, this generation. So I guess it makes sense. <laughs> She's got a max yoga skill. So I like her little ice creams. Those are cute. Um, is there anything else cute and in... why is it this pink? That's honestly devastating to me. If you were Barbie, do you think we should wear like a skirt and tights or something? 
Oh my god, they sparkle. Stop. It's perfect. I like them. I think they're cool. I want just some plain socks, I think. Maybe I'll give her some gloves. I don't usually give my Sims gloves. This, it stems from the fact that I, um, oh my god, she has snowmen. That's cute. It stems from the fact that I live in Florida. So, truly, what do I know about gloves? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing is known by me about gloves. Um, no. You got Twitch to watch me? It's your first stream? Oh my gosh! Well, hey! Welcome in! It's good to see you. This doesn't come in white. That's so exciting. I hope that you enjoy your time here. That'll work. That's Barbie. But yeah, I, um, Florida, so... Not really a glove, um, person. <laughs> you think the gloves are ugly so you never use them? That's fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know. Well, she's got a couple more options now. And she's all set up, so that was good. You never end up wearing gloves in the winter. You love cleaning snow off your car with bare hands. Are you joking? You cold place people. Yes, sarcasm. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, you people scare me. <laughs> you people scare me. <laughs> They're kidding. They just want to scare the Floridian. Yeah, clearly. And I'm gullible. I'll fall for anything. I'm serious. <gasps> Feed my cow plant! Run, run, run! Oh no. Get used to the cold? Yeah. I mean, you know what you don't get used to is the heat. Florida's horrible. It's a bad, 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 bad place. Um... As a cold in the winter place person, you actually forget to wear gloves and then regret it when you have to clean snow off your car. I can see that and that sounds horrible. When I think about like driving in a cold place, like all these things that I, I like know about places that are cold, when I think about what it would be like to drive there, it makes me so nervous. Like I legitimately cannot imagine something like this. The idea of snow and driving Mm -mm. Scares me. But I grew up in Florida, so like, I don't know anything. I've been... I don't know. Sheltered from the snow. So I don't know how to function in, in a place like that, you know? Okay. Time for bed, everyone. Let's go. What are you doing? Barrett, Kendall, leave me alone. Okay, let's save the game. <laughs> oh, I see Katie and H, thank you for the subs. Uh, Jenna as well, thank you. You got stuck on I-75 for eight hours not moving last winter because of snow. No, I did her preferences first, Sassafras. I started there and then I did her outfits. So I did set them. They are set. Don't worry. I did do her preferences first. So we've got that set up. Okay. Well, they're all asleep. Tomorrow, my baby is going to have two days until becoming a toddler. Okay, we have a lot of work to do with the baby then. So you know what we could try and do is get a high chair and start uh, playing with some of the high chair stuff. Hi, chair. This one's pink. Cute! I will uh, take care of the baby later. Keep sleeping though, okay? Look at how cute they are! Oh. Oh. All right, well, Pulp 
is hungry. Well, eat then. I swear to you, I think the problem is that Pulp keeps getting distracted by the fire. And then she won't eat. I think that's the problem that I have. Was the cat riding the Roomba? Yeah. <laughs> the cat's been riding the Roomba. It's kind of fun. Pulp. Let me do that and then let me call Pulp to, Pulp to eat, yeah? Yeah, Pulp is like kind of obsessed with the fireplace to the point where um, sh I, it makes me nervous. Let's just say that. Um, let me turn the auto lights back off. Auto lights, all lights. Okay, bedtime. You have that glitch too? Yeah, it's weird. The dogs are like obsessed with the fireplace. I don't know. I guess I'm not complaining. There's worse things that they could be doing, but it, it is kind of a bug that's a little annoying. At least I think it's a bug. I'm not sure. Can you go back to sleep? Try to go night-night. It's too late. Middle of the night, go. Yeah, growing together is what adds the tummy time, Tay. So you can't do it if you don't have it. Is it one of the pet obsessions? Um, it might be one of the pet obsessions. It does, to me, feel as though maybe it's a little excessive to the point of like glitches because Pulp will like not eat and not sleep. She never leaves the fire. So it does, it does seem like maybe if it is one of the obsessions, it might need some tuning or something. Anyway. 4.30 a.m. Fully rested. Oh my. Yeah, they're always like quite over the top, these pet obsessions, aren't they? Get yourself some leftovers. Uh-oh. Oh no. Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So... You're cleaning that out. You're gonna get some food. We'll feed the baby. Now you're yawning? Yeah, that's the problem. Whenever I yawn on a stream, suddenly everyone here is also yawning. My bad. <gasps> 8,000 simoleons for bills. Uh-oh. Okay, and you have work at 9 a.m. How unreasonable would it be if I went and had a science baby before work? How, I mean, I can do it, right? Just before we go to work, we go have the baby. I wanted to do it today, so. We'll just do it before we go to work. Just a casual morning. Let's have a science baby, shall we? Go. Yay! Okay, Grandpa, can you feed the baby? <gasps> it's a boy! All right, should we call him Georgia? The discussion is Georgia and Princess as the options. Georgia Peach. We can be family oriented. Okay, now I have another baby. This is gonna be the baby's room. So, oh, baby time! Oh, I didn't get a screenshot of it. Oh well. Do you wanna look at how pretty the weather looks today? She could take family leave now? Yes, she could. I don't know if I will. I suppose I could. Um, let me get rid of, unfortunately, Peppa, your room must come to an end. It's been fun, but it's time for it to be over. Okay, now we gotta think about like, I love Peppa's room, it was iconic. I really enjoyed having it, but it is time for us to move on. So the baby has this wallpaper. This one is quite, um, this one is quite peachy as well, I would say. Um, maybe I'll get a carpet. That could work. Maybe. 
Yeah, peach is kind of a difficult color. I'm like not really sure. I don't know. Whoever made this dumb challenge, Lil Simsy, um, sucks for this. <laughs> Lil Simsy, you made it too complicated. The baby's name is Georgia. Uh, to those of you that were asking. Okay. I think that maybe, let me get move objects on. I'll probably decorate this with the stuff like the crib stuff and everything already, just to be ready. Even though it's only a newborn right now. Um, should I do like a... That's very orange, but maybe we could try and use that to play up the thing. Dream home decorator has peachy curtains, okay. Oh, these are kind of good. I don't know if they'll work in here with, maybe I'll put in my inventory to save for when they get older. Cause I don't know if they match this that well, but they probably will be useful for later. Okay. Um, maybe a dresser? Maybe the parenthood ones. Oh, parenthood might work for this. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna have too much pattern, you know? Oh. Maybe you only get to have one window. Oh, that's cute. I like the stripes at the bottom. University might have a peach swatch curtain, but the problem is it's medium wall height only. Oh, it's kind of pink. Yeah, but it's, and when you try and size it down, it stays high up, you can't lower it, so. Is James the heir because he's the oldest? Or are we gonna decide later? I don't know, Violet, I might let all of them be born. I do quite like the idea of having an heir named Princess. <laughs> Princess Peach, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm not that uh, attached to name situations, so. We shall see. All right. Um, what sort of dresser should the baby have? Um, oh no, I yawned again. I'm sorry. I'm actually so sorry. I probably just made you all yawn too. That's my bad. Um, this can be white. Your peach gen sim is called peach? Yeah, that makes sense. I've gone for something a little bit, uh, I would say, more ridiculous. <laughs> Stop making me yawn, streamer. I'm sorry. I have had the longest night and day in my defense. Um, so, will I make a new household for horses? Well, yeah, I'll make a new house uh, when we actually play with the horses stuff, but I'm probably gonna play with horses, honestly, in this family as well. But we'll make like a specific dedicated household for when we play with horses. We'll do like a, a special household on stream that's horse stuff, you know? Uh, maybe I'll use the orange one. That's cute, it matches. Um, what happens when the challenge comes to 10th generation blue, does it end? Well, it's up to you. Technically, there's no further rules uh, to play with, but people have made like not so very extended and stuff like that. So that's always an option. Um, depending on what you're interested in, you could always do that. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do when we get to the 10th generation, because by that point, we'll have played 20 generations in this household. Um, and we might as well play through to six generation, six more I mean, cause there's like an alphabet legacy challenge, um, like what's it called? Uh, achievement that you get for playing 26. So I might as well do that. It's kind of my thoughts on it for our next steps. But after that, I'm not really sure. 
Okay, I need a changing table as well. Yeah, we played 10 generations, Lucy, and then I started Not So Berry. So we're on Gen 17 right now. Actually, believe it or not. <laughs> um, okay. I want to get some diapers. There's a 100 gen achievement too. Yeah, but I worry that the game is going to be too glitchy by then. I don't know if I'll ever make it to 100 generations. We'll see. Not like playing for real. That's more of like a... I would be... If I did that, it would be sort of like a... Experimental, like... Probably doing it from Cass and stuff. Kind of vibe. I don't know if I would ever play for real 100 generations. Because I don't know... I mean, you think about how long I've been playing in this save. Imagine how long it would take us to do 100 generations. A long time. You've used the same save since 2016 and it's still fine? Yeah, I mean, this one definitely has its moments. So, that's why I say that, but... Eh. There's nothing really stopping us, I guess. Let me get some decorations from Parenthood. Parenthood, Parenthood, Parenthood. Okay, that's nice. Maybe I'll just leave it at that for now and I'll decorate it more once it's actually an infant. And I can also give you a new infant outfit as well. Change outfit. I think I gave it very cute last time. So maybe I'll dress you in little seedling. Yeah? We don't have baby daddy, uh, Shizu. We actually had a science baby. So there, there is no dad. Um, Barbie had a science baby, both kids. So it's just her. <laughs> um, okay. Do you want to practice standing? Look at it scoot. Look at it scoot. Will the kids be identical? I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, that'll be kind of fun. So, would there even be other Sims in the world at 100 gens? Well, yeah, because the game keeps like spawning new ones. So, there should be. There should be. Okay. Is that a feature from Growing Together or a mod? The practice standing, it's a Growing Together thing. Um, she's not changing the diaper. She's actually breastfeeding is what's happening. Okay. Would you like to... Uh, change dirty diaper? After we practice doing some standing. Work for Barbie starts in an hour. Go change his diaper, please. I'm actually begging you to go. Okay, there we go. Why does it take so long? They're quite weird about the baby care, aren't they? Okay. Put the baby back down. Oh, you're asleep again. Oh, I woke him up in the middle of the night, didn't I? Oops. Okay, have a good day at work, Barbie. See you later. Bye, Barbie. All right, do you want to keep playing with your toys, maybe? No, don't try to go night-night. Play with toys. Oh, you should try to go night-night, though. Oops. <laughs> Simmeres, TG, Mary, thank you for the subs. Babble milestone unlocked. How many milestones do we have? How are we doing? Ooh. We are doing quite well, I would say. That is exciting. We have two days. All right, as soon as the baby finishes playing with this second round, 2,500 in book royalties, oh my gosh. We're gonna have plenty of money to make our horse ranch. We should actually probably start saving up because when you think about it, oh my God, you guys think about this for a second. I already have my stream schedule all the way planned out, right? We are not playing Not So Berry Challenge again until after horses come out. So this is our last chance to save up money pre-horses. Because the next time we play Not So Berry will be after horses are, have released. So, because they come out next Thursday. 
That's actually really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, let's see if we can get put to bed. The child is very tired, so. How much is the house worth? Um, a lot. Let's find out. 165,000, and then we have 20K on us. Yeah, I think we'll be able to afford a nice horse ranch. <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna guess that I think probably we'll be able to afford a, a pretty decent horse ranch. <laughs> I'm not worried about that then. Yeah, unfortunately, you guys, Mystic, I, I'm not allowed to say when the embargo lifts for the pack. Um, I wish I could, but I'm not allowed to tell you when I'm allowed to show the early access videos. Um, so I can't tell you that, um, unfortunately, but next week <laughs> the answer is next week because <laughs> the horse pack comes out next week <laughs> but I can't say specifics I can't really answer too many questions all right you are gonna try and get yourself some food the kid is still not asleep oh my god fall asleep oh it worked <laughs> me saying that worked he fell asleep <laughs> Um, and then maybe we could come adopt his care dependent. Maybe I'll take care of this baby a little bit. Um, help, I'm trying to press bottle feed. There you go. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. Why do you get early access? Uh, KB, so I, maybe you're new to the stream, just so you know. Um, I, cause I make, a lot of content on Sims packs and, and the Sims in general. Uh, so they give out early access to a lot of creators so that they can make videos on it before the pack comes out. Um, essentially, it's free advertising for the Sims team. And then it's a huge bonus for me because then I get to make content on the pack, <laughs> you know? Um, so it's, it's kind of a win-win for both them and me, <laughs> you know? All they gotta do is give me a code and then I make a lot of videos showing off their new content um, and indirectly encourage a lot of people to buy the pack, you know, by them seeing it. Um, and then I get to make content on the pack. So it's a, everybody wins, but yeah. And then you guys get to usually, if I can post it before the pack comes out, a lot of you get to see the pack early as well. So, and then you can see it and decide if you want to buy it by seeing it, you know, early and stuff. So that's why. Um, wait, you play The Sims? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a lot, but I kind of dabble in The Sims 4. I'm, I'm kind of just getting started playing The Sims 4. I'm, I'm, uh, getting into it now. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm new to The Sims. <laughs> this is actually my first time playing. <laughs> okay. Baby is asleep. This baby's here. Can you come feed my cow plant, perhaps? And then do you want to build a snow pal? Oh my god. Wait, Pulp and the cat are playing in the trash. Build a snow pal after you're done feeding my cow plant. I like that idea. <laughs> I like that idea. No snow pal? Okay, never mind. You can feed my sharks then. <laughs> Hello. Is that the sizzle of something broken? Would well, you want to help me? Come on in. You can help. I won't complain. Are you like bugged by? Oh, she's a conspiracy theorist. Oh. Interesting. When is he dying? Not yet. He's got a while till he ages up still. He's not quite ready to die. Not quite. Okay, um, do you want to get some more food? Pulp is begging for this. Don't do that, Pulp. Stop. We named the second baby Georgia, and I'm gonna have a third baby called Princess. But not until the, that baby becomes an- I'm gonna try and space it out a little bit, so they aren't- I don't want to have two infants at once. <laughs> I don't want to have two infants at once, so long story short, I'm trying to space it out, so that way I don't, um get stuck with a lot of infants. <laughs> All right. Let me get rid of this too. Hello, child. Um, maybe I'll wake you up now and I'll feed you. 
how do I pick last name Potts? I don't remember. <laughs> I probably randomized it though. A lot of times I randomize my Sims last names and just go from there, so. I probably randomized Potts, and now I've been playing with the Potts family for years. <laughs> um, but I, I was most likely randomized, to be honest with you. Oftentimes it is. No, it wasn't because of the lot name. That was just a coincidence, Grace. Um, that wasn't why I picked the Potts last name, I don't think. Um, it just happened to be a funny coincidence that their name was Potts and we were on the Potter Splay lot, but... Um, I don't know. I think it was randomized as pots, though. <laughs> okay. Um, Peppa's calling to chat. And you have work in 35 minutes. You get off work in 35 minutes. You get promoted to level 5. That's a win. Why would you name the baby Georgia when it's a boy? Okay, so... I saw all of you guys freaking out about that when I named the kid. I think that what we need to do is be a little bit less weird about gender with our Sims, you know? Um, I have never been weird about my Sims gender, so um, no need for you to do that either, <laughs> you know? It's just a name. Um, it's a Sim. I had a child named Tomato, like... Us having a, a son named Georgia is, is not even close to the weirdest thing I've done in this game. <laughs> so, um, it's just a cute name. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just a little name, so. I named the kid Piglet, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, we there's, there's not really, uh, it's not that deep, right? Um, there's no specifics. But... Anyway. Anyway. Okay. We got promoted! She hates her little business career. I feel bad for her. <laughs> she hates it. Um, let's go play with James. Will I get my fun up? I think it should. I've never understood this. She's playing toys with her baby. Like, surely her playing toys with her baby should get her fun up, right? At least you would think. Oh well. I think he needs to go to bed again anyway, so I'll do that. Christine, as a mom, says, eh, maybe just a tiny bit. It might be tedious. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ken is, in fact, running away. She will make her way home eventually, but posting an alert via computer or phone can help find her sooner. Well, she's just Ken. Um, let me post an alert about the missing pet. Hello? Am I being so silly right now? Maybe she's not actually gone yet, so I can't post the alert yet. Can I post it now? There we go. I was checking in social, it wasn't there. Okay, well I posted it now. <laughs> what, you didn't put the kid to bed? Put the kid to bed! Get put to bed! Oh, maybe it got distracted by the- look at it scoot. So funny when they do that. Okay, try again. Mama, purple lover, thank you for the subs, both of you. Come on. Put the kids to bed. Look at Barbie in her business suit. Oh, I have to pick a new suit, don't I? Because she, we had uh, pre previously custom picked her work outfits. I don't care to do that right now, though. I'll worry about it later. This will get our fun up. And she also might freeze to death. <laughs> But she needs to max the yoga skill, wellness skill, sorry, she's level 7, so we have a ways to go to get it maxed for the the rules of this generation, we're not so very, she's actually doing pretty good, to be honest. Not bad, kid, not bad. Fun fix, it'll help with burnout, no, yoga's not base game, yoga's actually from the, um, 
the spa day pack. Can the mat go inside? I mean, yeah, but isn't it kind of like fun drama if it's outside? <laughs> isn't it like kind of exciting for it to be outside? Like just a little bit? I'm gonna give a bath to Pulp and then I'll have my sim go to sleep. Is it okay if you use a tiny home for this challenge? I mean, honestly, I, I would probably encourage you to try that. Especially early in the challenge, use a tiny home, make your life easier. Get yourself set up, you know? You should save? Oh, I should save. <laughs> oh my gosh, I should save. You're right. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Okay, well, that's fine. What lot is this house on? This is the, the lot, it's a 40 by 40 lot in Brindleton Bay where the, Del the Delgado family used to live, but the Delgado family is all dead at this point. I'm on gen 17 right now, so. But that's where it is. Yeah, I lived in a tiny house for part of the purple generation when I played this. So, baby care, change dirty diaper, baby care, breastfeed, okay. Rid of that and then you can go to bed cool cool would be a shame if one of them froze to death no but like actually it would be a shame if one of them froze to death because I kind of need them I kind of need them I need both of these sims because I have too many kids and it's stressing me out I need to have uh, extra adults to help me take care of them it's incredibly important <laughs> That pink room is slightly offensive on the eyes. What, you think so? I like it. Are you done taking care of the kid? Oh my god, it's like 2 a.m. Go to bed. What are you doing? Also, can you come feed my cow plant? Sorry. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah, we're on the pink gen. I'm not so very right now. Yes, indeed. Did she kick Peppa out of the house? Yeah, but not in a bad way, Mikey. Peppa had a boyfriend and a baby, so we needed um, to move her out so that we would have space in the household for us to have kids. So. She had science babies, Amy. Both of them were science babies that she had alone. So. Also, when Peppa's baby aged up into an infant, it was intense. So, frankly, it was time to go. <laughs> It was time to go. <laughs> we, I can't have, I can't be having an intense infant right now. It's too much. Waking up your elderly father to deal with your plant is so funny. Yeah, waking up my elderly dad to go uh, take care of the, <laughs> the cow plant. Classic, classic. Of course. <laughs> You like Blaze's room the most currently? It's fiery. Oh my gosh. And Ken's back. Good. Oh no. Barbie. We have to feed the baby. And bathe the baby. Here, let me actually- no, I need to give it a bath. I think it had a little diaper blowout, so. It's the only way. The next generation's color is peach. Um, if you want to see the not-so-berry rules, we have them here in the chat, um, if you want to ever go read them. Uh, but the next generation's color is peach, and then it's green, and then it's blue. So, that is the way. Your toddler loves Peppa Pig, really? Iconic. I think, I sort of go through phases of loving and hating Peppa Pig. It's not really entirely clear to me where my opinion stands, but, um... Yeah. Yeah. I want to buy... I have 2,000 points. Should I buy something like... I already have creative, visionary, and entrepreneurial. Maybe I could get... Incredibly friendly is quite useful. Maybe I'll do that. With my points. You're neutral about Peppa? Okay, fair enough. Put the kid back to bed. You have to go to sleep too. Oh my god, you're gonna have work- eh! Can I help you? 
There is, in fact, a rampaging werewolf in my house. It's because I, I stole a bunch of graves from the town that I just found. I didn't kill him. I've just found a lot of werewolf graves. Um, so that's uncomfortable, to say the least. Oh my god, it's 7 a.m. and Barbie's exhausted. This is not good. Not good, not good. Keep sleeping. How about that? Everyone's exhausted. Just deal with it. Okay, Barbie, you keep sleeping until exactly time for work, yeah? Okay, go. Grandpa's taking care of the baby. That's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. I can handle that. Let's get rid of this diaper. And then I need to age that up. How many days until you age up? One. I'm not aging up this infant until it's absolutely necessary for me to age up the infant, okay? I, I want to sort of maximize the time that I don't have two infants, so... <laughs> it's what must be done. I'm gonna try my best here. <laughs> don't... I need to get some food. Did you say you stole a werewolf gravestone? Well, I didn't... Well, I've just been collecting graves. Yeah, the werewolf graves do look different, see? They're cool, aren't they? Kind of special. I still, to this day, don't have a spellcaster grave. Maybe our next gen could marry a spellcaster. The green gen? We have to do, like, programming stuff in the green gen. And we're, like, big into parties and stuff. I'm a squeamish, geek, and cheerful. And we're gonna do a lot of partying. So maybe we could marry a spellcaster. I would probably like that. Okay, the green gen can marry a spellcaster. It's about time we finally do that. <laughs> I don't have a servo grave either, no. But robotics, I'm already doing that in my YouTube Let's Play right now, so now I don't want to do a servo thing. Marry Morgan Ember. Morgan is long dead. Uh, we're on Gen 17 of this save, so all those original Sims are no longer with us, if you will. Not in, like, a bad way, just, like, you know, time flies and everyone's dead. <laughs> okay, baby is sitting up. I wonder... Should I just age you up now? You have one day until you become a... No, I'll, I'll play through it until it's your actual birthday. I'm okay with that. Oh my god, Elphaba! <gasps> I didn't even think about that. My green gen? We literally marry a green spellcaster. What are your thoughts on that? Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> We can make a green spellcaster called Elphaba. That's so good. I didn't even think of that. Okay. This is like a long ways away. Cause this is like, this is gonna be the, you know this baby that we have right now is the peach gen. That baby's kid is who's gonna marry Elphaba. But we'll make like a green spellcaster. Oh my God, that's gonna be so fun. Okay, that's a ways away, but we'll get to it. Write that down. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Christine, if you want to make us Elphaba, go for it. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. Christine made us Bran, a previous gen's. Uh, spouse, so that was kind of fun. Can her sister be Glinda? Oh my god, Christine's gonna make a whole household for us of spellcasters. I need something fun to do after this stupid shell challenge, she says. My shell challenge is fun! What are you talking about, Christine? Why are you being mean to me and my shell challenge? That's actually extremely rude of you. Do 
you want to try our first baby food in the high chair? Let's try some... Wait, is there peaches? No. You can have some applesauce, though. Let's go. Baby food, baby food, baby food, baby food, baby food. Come on. I'm not going to the festival. Baby food, baby food, baby food, baby food. Happy venue, huh? Ooh, squeebo. Squeebo. Oh, look at how cute that is. James was unsure about applesauce. That's fair enough. I get it. Can we practice standing now? Come on. Quirk revealed picky eater. Oh, great. Put me down. Put me down, put me down. Put me down. There we go. Can we, wait, can you practice like pulling yourself up to stand? Maybe you don't know it yet. Um, do you wanna practice standing? I'm excited. Oh, look at us go! We're trying to learn how to stand! Oh, you're not very good at that. Are you putting me to bed again? Oh my god. Just go to bed, it's fine. The kid's already tired again. It's fine. I don't mind. Straight to bed. Straight to bed. Can you try to go night-night? This baby's doing just fine. Maybe I'll come age you up then. <laughs> Baby care, age up. I don't want two infants. Okay, Georgia aged up. Georgia is, no! Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't deserve intense infants. What did I do to deserve this? Redo? No, I randomize the traits. I stick to my own rules. It's just like, not fair. <laughs> I screamed so loud that it actually scared you. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Oh my god, they all are gonna look just like their mom. Like, actually identical. Is that kind of peachy? It's like, it's, it's very much orange. But maybe if we pair it with something like this, it'll seem more peachy. Oh, that's pretty peachy. Can the third baby made with a friend? I'm curious if it makes a difference. Yeah, we can have a, yeah, I'm okay with that. Having a science baby with a friend. I, we haven't really done a lot of like science babies with people, so. I'm open to it. We'll have our third kid with someone. Um, are any of these peachy? I already have the kid wearing a hat for, oh, that's pretty cute. That is objectively not peachy. Maybe you could wear white and these pants or something. Is there a peachier hair color? No, this was just the hair that they randomized. I might, um, or, well, the hair that they got given, I guess I should say. I might give them some CC hairs when they're a little bit older, like as children or something, but as infants, I'm not, super worried about it. Your brother wears that, so maybe you should wear something different. Um, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm yawning again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. That's peachy. That'll work. Um, honestly, this shirt, it's, it's quite pink, but we can maybe make that work too. 
Okay. Hot weather. Are any of these kind of peachy? No. This might work. It's pink, but if it must be done, then it must be done. Oh, that'll work. Okay. I think your sibling wears that too, but what are your rules for aging up? Like in this, uh, I'm just waiting until they age up like time wise and not so very, I'm not like forcibly aging up fast or anything. So, okay. Okay. That works for me. <laughs> and we get back into the game. Yeah, I wish we had a peachy hair color. If they were to do an update that had some more hair swatches, that would be so good. Like, would absolutely make my day if we got some more hair swatches. But, I don't know if they would. We did get a slight one recently-ish, but I would love if they gave us a, an update that had some hair swatches that were like pastel pinks, pastel purple. Like, I would love to have some unnatural hair color swatches. That would be fun. Um, like actually officially in the game, you know? Okay, Barbie, if we are gonna have a science baby with someone, who are our friends? We're friends with Danielle. Maybe we can have a science baby with Danielle next. I'm just looking like we don't have that many friends. <laughs> We might need to work on making some friends. We're besties with Carrie. Sort of. So that could be an idea too. We have amazing compatibility with Carrie, which is better than we have with the other Sim, Danielle. Does Barbie have a friend club? No, but we can make one. Barbie's friends. Okay, let me add some of the people that I know. We can bring Peppa, our sister. We'll bring Danielle. Stacy? The same that I, other, other one that I know I can't add. What about Stacy? Thunder. Uh oh. Um. What about Corey? Carrie's there, you saw them? Oh, really? Oh, Carrie's right there. Oh, Barbie's friends can have... Yeah, that's fine. Should I go modify Carrie and Cass, see what she looks like? Oops, modifying Cass. Barbie has a sister named Stacy. Oh, in real life? Hmm. I like Carrie. Ooh, like Barbahoy. Oh, I can't see her traits when I do it like this. Not thought through. Um, get a different hair for a sec. Eh, I like your knitting shirt. I don't know. Maybe we'll invite them over later and we can think about it for who our best friend should be. <laughs> we need to like see everybody's traits and do some uh, decision making on who our best friend should be. Yeah. <laughs> what gen is this? This is uh, gen seven of Not So Berry. It's the pink generation of Not So Berry. Is what we're on right now. Best friend auditions. Exactly. How long am I live for today? Well, here's my thing, Ocean. I um, so I'm gonna stream again at nine, which is in like two and a half hours. Um. And I do need to get off stream and like make dinner and stuff before I come back for stream. And to be honest with you, I have had such a day. I'm not sure how long I'll be live for, but we'll see. I think me and Steve are gonna play American Truck Sim later. Yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna play some Truck Sim with Steve later. If you wanna hang out with us. <laughs> um, that was in fact the goal, so. <laughs> Last exception caught by MC Command Center. Uh-oh. That's no good. 
That's no good. No, go. I want you to take care of the baby. Tummy time, please. Give Georgia a nap. Oh my god. Let me try and reload a lot. It's being glitchy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Never been able to see a truck sim with Steve live until today? Well, you're in luck. <laughs> you are in luck. We're gonna play some truck sim tonight with Steve. It'll be fun. Yeah, truck sim is a funny game. If you haven't seen it, I think you might actually like it. <laughs> I honestly, I think you might enjoy it if you haven't seen it. So uh, if you want to drop by, I'll be here again in a couple hours, so. I don't know how long I'm gonna make it. I was hoping to stream for three hours with Steve later, but I have not been thriving recently, so I don't know if I'm gonna be- I've been going to bed, like, early, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but I will be here for at least a bit, so. That is the plan. You're addicted to truck sim because of me and Steve playing it, really, Gabby? I'm glad that you had fun with it, though. That's good. That's exciting. Um, I am very, very glad. No, I mean 9 p.m. Tay, tonight in a couple hours. Yeah, we're gonna do the shell tours on Monday. That's the plan. That is the plan. Maybe I could get, um, maybe I could get put to bed by you. Oh my God. Can you like actually not get to the baby? Is that what's happening here? Oh no, you're doing it. You're just being weird about it. Okay, well, you're being weird, but that's fine. I'll do tummy time. Don't go to bed, do tummy time, how about that? Yeah? Oh my god, it's glitching! Tummy time. It's being really weird. Are you seeing this? Why do you think that is? Tummy time. Okay, put infant to bed. It shouldn't be this hard to put a baby in a crib, you know? There we go. Baby in the crib. Okay. <laughs> the baby's hungry, which is not good. Barbie's home and exhausted and fun's low. Let's you practice some yoga. How about that? I just leave them on the floor if they annoy me. You know what? You might have the right idea, to be honest. I respect that. I really do. <gasps> you found a ring in Elvis's bag? You think he's gonna propose to you? I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, yes, say yes, Peppa. Get married. No, wait. Barbie cannot have the workaholic lifestyle. I'm sorry. I actually, storyline-wise, that simply is not gonna work for me. I'm actually gonna cheat that away. No. She, because for the, the story is that she hates her job. And she wants to quit to become a writer. So you absolutely cannot have a workaholic lifestyle. Don't be silly. Nonsense. She'll quit her job and become a writer in 15 days. That's the plan. She's actually getting quite good at this yoga. Are you seeing this? Whoa, look at her go. We need to max the skill. We're level seven, I think, almost eight. Yeah, that's pretty good. She's finishing it quite quickly. And she's freezing to death, okay. <laughs> okay, let's go use the bathroom and then I can make some dinner. Um, I will serve dinner. Let's make some, let's make some chili. How about that? You bought a pink dress today to wear to the Barbie movie? That's so fun! Also, Joe and, and Miss Goulette and Rim and Schmuddle, uh, Daisy, kinda, Olivia, Twisted, thank you for the subs, everybody. Need, like, a yoga studio? Yeah, I kinda like her almost freezing, but I suppose I probably should get her a yoga studio. The problem is I just, I just enjoy it when she almost freezes, you know? You went to bed. I guess Barbie's gonna have to feed the baby then. Are you done? Hurry up. Cook faster. Your Aeros outfit was pink, so you're just gonna wear that again? I respect that. That's a good idea. I think I might wear the pink shirt that I wore to the Aeros tour as well. To the Barbie movie. It'll be cute. Oh my god. 
Both of them are hungry. It's gonna be okay. We've got everything under control. Are you gonna feed this one? Come on, feed the baby. Feed it. Ready? Baby care. Bottle feed. Yeah? Frequently hiccups. Cute. Okay. This one's starving. That's my bad. Sorry. I think he's a picky eater, annoyingly, but that's okay. We'll get put to bed after that. You ordered pizza and wings for tonight? Oh, that's fun! I'm excited for you. And you got back from camping? That's cool. I hope you had a be the best time. That's pretty cool. Um, go use the bathroom. Go to sleep. You're back asleep. Don't nap. Sleep for real. Sleep for real. Sleep for real. Okay. Momo, thanks for the three months! Alright, are we all good? You're using the bathroom, you'll go to bed. Okay. We managed to make it through, everybody. We managed to make it through. Uh-oh, who's dead? Rice Granola has passed away. Uh-oh. That's his extended family. May they rest in peace. <laughs> May they rest in peace. Okay, I'm gonna save the game again, too. This has been going okay. Rice was still alive. Yeah, I'm honestly impressed by that, to be honest. Christine made the, the whole family, the granola family, for me, for, uh, we, my purple gen married one of them, so. Impressive that Sim is still alive, though. Well, not anymore. <laughs> I guess it's not impressive anymore because they died, but. <laughs> yeah, Rice was Bran's little sister, so it was, um, it was this guy's aunt, Blaze's aunt. So, you're curious about horses and apartments? Yeah, when we have the early access, we, we have like a special version of the game that's just the base game with the update and the new pack. It has like the watermark and the no gallery access. It's kind of a weird thing. So, uh, people that have early access have no way of testing um, like cross pack compatibility. So, like horses and apartments. I will tell you that horses can only, they like, they won't be able to get through a regular sized door, I would assume. So, like, my guess is the horses can't get inside an apartment because they wouldn't fit through a door. Like, I'm speaking not from experience, but like just generally, like the horse is bigger than this door is. So if you only have a, right? Like, so I would guess they can't get in there, but um, that's just my assumption. There's no way to know that for sure. Uh, with penthouses though, I wonder, they might work on penthouses because it's just a regular lot. But I think in like a general apartment in San Myshuno, I don't think that that would work. Just speaking from like purely what would make sense, I don't think that that makes sense. Like I just, I assume that they wouldn't be able to do that. So, you guess? I'm, this is genuine, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing for real. Um, but that, yeah, I would say they wouldn't be able to get into the apartments. And I wouldn't expect them to be able to, so. Horse on a roof. Yeah, I would I would guess that you could use them in the penthouses. So yeah, you could probably have a horse on a roof. I, I can't test that though until we get the pack for real. We only have the base game with it right now. So there's no way to test any cross pack anything. I mean, hypothetically, if I had early access, I wouldn't be able to test cross pack stuff. Hypothetically, if I had early access. Horses aren't tied to world then? Well, why would they be, Missy? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you think of the horses as being like cats and dogs. How like bizarre would it be if you could only have dogs in Brindleton Bay? Like it's part of your household, so. Of course you could have them anywhere. That wouldn't make any sense if you couldn't, you know? Um, Cause they're just part of your household. <laughs> Uh, there's nothing that's really tied to the world in The Sims. You, I, you can kind of think of them like bikes as well. You can ride a bike anywhere. Why couldn't you ride a horse anywhere? Again, I haven't actually tested that. I have no way of confirming, but I'm just telling you that would make no sense if you couldn't, so. Um. Okay. Okay. You are sleeping, then we'll wake up. We'll take care of our food. Liv, thank you for the 
25 months. You're gonna live the best horse girl life you've ever had. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. Um, okay, get rid of all of that. As soon as you're fully rested, this kid needs a bath. You might not actually get to be fully rested. You might have to go give it a bath now. <laughs> give a bath to James, please. And then I'll age the baby up. Guys, I can't answer questions about the horse pack, just so you know. All we can do is speak generally about assumptions that I'm making, about things that I can't even check myself, you know? Like apartments. I don't have apartments. I can't test that, so I can talk about that guessing, but uh, I can't answer questions about the horse pack. We're just discussing, like, genuine guesses on things right now. Um, so, unfortunately, I can't answer too many questions about things that, hypothetically, I would have seen if I were to have access to the pack. You know? You know? <laughs> okay, the baby is... Oh, your fun is low and you need fed? Oh my god. Baby care. Breastfeed. I can give the baby some toys. That'll be good. I just realized I haven't bought him any toys. <laughs> Sorry to the child for not giving you any toys. That is absolutely my bad. I wasn't really thinking. Okay, we're feeding the baby, and then I'll put the baby down, and then it can play. <sighs> okay. Winterfest! Oh my goodness. Let's get set down over here, yeah? Yay! <laughs> sit down, sit down, put me down, okay. Wait, can you not play with the toy yet? You're kidding. No, you can, okay. Play. Play. Good job, kid. There you go. Look at how fast their fun need goes up. These kids are very easily entertained. It's kind of impressive. All right. You need to get yourself some food. This baby is doing just fine. Shout out to um, Blaze for taking care of it. <laughs> Let's change George's diaper. Yeah? Kayla's so annoyed with these babies. I love them. I love them. Love them. <laughs> I think what I'll do, how about this? Maybe I'll age up, because it should be your birthday today, right? Yeah, days to age up zero. I'm gonna age this baby up today, I think. Okay. Um, let's make a hamburger cake. So I can get this baby aged up. Oh, sorry, you've had to eat. I didn't let you. <laughs> my bad. My bad, my bad. Oh, no. Alright, you're finishing cooking this. I'll age up the infant. You can get yourself some food. First time catching one of our streams live. Hey, Steph, well, welcome. I'm glad you can make it. That's so exciting. I'm glad you're here. I am very, very, very glad you're here. Okay. Time for science baby number three? No. I'm gonna wait until this one is gonna be a toddler. So, like, four more days, then we'll have our third kid, probably. I wanna space it out. Oh, hi, Carrie. All right, let's add some birthday candles to this cake. And then I shall age up my toddler. Um, help blow out candles. James. Ready? Sorry, I know that you're literally starving, but... Too bad, so sad, yeah? Where is the kid? Oh my god, it's asleep? No! Okay. Come on. Help blow out candles. Help blow out candles. There we go. Let me get a picture. Yay! Happy birthday to the kid! Ew, it's spitting all over the cake! Ew! Ew! Okay, let's randomize your child. Are you actually joking?
fussy. Well, that settles it. I don't want you as the heir. I don't like you. Why is the child so white? I don't know. He's extremely pale, though, isn't he? It's okay. I relate to that. But, yeah, he's very pale. <laughs> very, very, very pale. Um, okay, one second. I'm texting Dan back. Um, James. Let's see. Yeah, Barbie is also very pale. I guess their mom was quite pale, so it makes sense. Um, you can keep your cheese hair for now. It's fine by me. What hairstyle should the baby have? I like this one. Can I give you some freckles? Oh, that's so cute. And then where's the haircut I gave you? I forgot already. This one. Okay, we need to pick something peachy. So I don't know if I have the energy to try and do outfits right now. Oh god. Oh god. This is not that peachy, but it might be the best we can get. You know? I do love these jeans. Um, are any of these kind of peachy? Those are like pink, but that might work. Yeah. <laughs> Barbie should have a kid named Ken. Well, actually, Barbie has a baby, or uh, has a cat named Ken. We've been trying to name all of the, um, the babies have names that are sort of after the peach generation stuff theme. So, like, the babies have names like James and the Giant Peach. And, oh, hi. Come here, jump up. Yeah. Is it dinner time? Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Maybe you could have this. That could work. Um, party wear? Oh my god, I kind of love that shirt. There's not really a peachy color. But maybe that could... Mm, Maybe I'll try it. And you can wear little shoes with it. That's fine for swimwear. We're probably never gonna go swimming, so. Are any of these? That one might work. Hot weather outfit. Mm. <gasps> there you go. That's kinda, I mean, it's a little bit not peachy, but it'll do. Cold weather. Yeah. <laughs> this has a little bit of peach in it, sort of. So that might help. Maybe you could wear the little orangey shoes. See, there's like little flecks, you know? So that kind of works. Yeah, peach is a tough color. Again, who wrote this dumb challenge? Me. Me. I did. So it's my fault. <laughs> I ruined everything. <laughs> you see me on YouTube? Well, hey, Beef, welcome to the stream. Also, Wanda, Jesse, Sid, thank you for the subs. <sighs> Good going, little Simsy. Hi, Snappy. I know, I know. I'll give you dinner in a sec. We'll go, we'll both go get dinner in a sec. Hey, Kiersey, thank you for the tier three, 47 months. Oh my God. Hello, worm. All right, we're back, we loaded in. I don't really care to renovate the bedroom right now because I'm thinking that by the time we play next, honestly, we might move to the horse ranch when we next play. So there's no need to give it a toddler bedroom if I'm gonna build a new horse themed house next time, right? 
so we should probably hold off. But at least I don't have two infants anymore, so life is good there. <laughs> Where's the cat? Oh, on the counter. The cat is in fact on the counter. Thanks for eating the cake. Okay, my cat is laying on my arm. <laughs> at least give it a bed. Well, not if I pause the stream. Listen, I am gonna be back because I'm gonna stream again in like almost exactly two hours. So maybe I'll just end it here and go make dinner. Thoughts? Goblin, thanks for the 46 months and pay. And then Mandy, thank you for the subs too, everybody. Um, I like that idea. Why are we blessed with a bonus stream? Well, we play games with my friend Steve sometimes uh, on Thursday nights. So tonight, that is the plan. Okay, this one, this one is like, it's dinner time. <laughs> She always comes up right when I'm about to get off stream because she knows that I'm going to go downstairs and feed her. She can tell. She knows. But in case you guys missed it, I am going to be here again in like two hours. I'll be live for a little bit. I think we're going to play, um, I think we're going to play, uh, American Truck Sim. I couldn't remember the name of it for a second there. <laughs> we're going to play American Truck Sim with Steve. So if you would like to hang out with us and play some Truck Sim, um, if you haven't seen it, you might like it. Uh, me and Steve have been playing a little bit. He frequently tries to run me off the road. Uh, so you might like it. <laughs> uh, and I think I might go find someone to raid right now then. Sappy, I can't get to my keyboard. Um, my friend Maggie Equippy is playing some Sims right now, doing the career legacy challenge. Um, and I'm actually quite excited about the thought of going over there and saying hello. So if you want to go say hi to Maggie, I have a 58 month resub that I'm sharing right now. Um, you can go over and say hi to Maggie for me, and I shall catch you all in a couple hours. Yeah? <laughs> I'll see you in just a little bit, alright? Thanks for hanging out. I'll remind you in the Discord, um, just in case you forget. And otherwise, tomorrow we're gonna finish that Realm of Magic build that we started and then play the 100 Baby Challenge. Yeah, at 9pm Eastern Time is when I'm gonna be live again. Um, so in like two hours and nine minutes is when I'll be here. <laughs> but thanks for hanging out. Say hi to Maggie for me. Um, and I'll catch you all later, okay? Marissa! Oh my god, wait! 70 months? 70 months? That's wild. Anyway, anyway, on that note, I'll go. I'll see you all later, okay? <laughs> Bye!